Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces here. I'll play the London system setup. It starts with d4. Bishop comes on f4. And if he tries to exchange here, we can directly take. I can play e3. Uh, develop the knight. Go for the bishop development. Uh, pawn to c3. These are the standard moves in the London where you have a solid pyramid in the center and making sure that the bishop is out of the pyramid. So that's very important. Probably next move by the opponent would be Rook uh, coming there. Then, then he will try to force the pawn exchange. Generally, that's what happens and the opponent tries to play uh, e4 someday. Okay, doesn't play the standard move. I'll play queen c2, developing my last piece. Now I'm preparing to castle either side of the board. And if you see, black hasn't developed the light square bishop yet. And now it comes. I'll try to kick this away by playing h3. If he wants to take, he can. But he goes back instead, which is passive. You should not uh, make moves like these, uh, where you are just trying to move the same piece again and again in the opening. Okay, I can go with knight, trying to remove one of the defenders of the uh, king side. And then we'll try to exchange the dark square bishop as well. Moves like pawn to g4 would be uh, a good idea. Maybe knight comes in over here and then try to attack. can pin this as well by playing bishop here on c4 so that uh, there's no threats. If Now we can definitely take this after pinning it. Uh, we'll first of all take the knight maybe. Let's see what he takes with because if with bishop, he loses the pawn. So he has to double up the pawns, which again is always weakening. Okay, so I'll try to go with queen here so that not letting him develop the bishop maybe because I'm attacking this. Okay, understands the threat that I can take this pawn. So he stops me from doing that. But I can now hop in with the knight. Uh, now that can lead to trouble as well. My bishop would be vulnerable. I'll just get the bishop back first, then go with the knight trying to take on this because he cannot take back. I have a queen lining up uh, towards the king, so that's a pin. Looks in some serious control for now. Time-wise also is pretty much comfortable for now. Castling either side of the board is pretty much feasible. Point is, as soon as he tries to develop the bishop, we can take this. Okay, so he is preventing me from coming here. Which makes me wonder if I can catch on the short side now. Or... Oh, it's pawn forward. That's weakening because this diagonal would be nice. I can cast on either side of the board and then make a pawn break in the center. A uh, long side makes more sense somehow, I don't know. Uh, no, can be troublesome because if bishop comes here, then I'm moving my queen suddenly. He has got both the bishops lined up uh, towards my queen side. So that's not actually a good idea. That's why castle now on the king side. Also, if he has to attack me now, he has to push his pawns forward and that would be weakening for his king side. So not a good idea. Whereas my bishop and queen are lined up towards the opponent. So that is nice. Okay, a rook in front of the queen. I get this only for now. For trying to make a pawn break next. I think, okay, he's allowing me to do that. Nice.
if he pushes the bishop still, then what are we doing about it? Maybe play d5, trying to stop him from doing any nonsense. As soon as I take it, that's attack on the queen. So he does take it. I'll take with the bishop. The idea is now I can have discoveries. I can, to the queen, I can take the pawn as well. So that's not a good sign for the opponent already. Either he loses rook or he loses his pawn. Something is going to happen. Time by as you see, we took some time in between, but now we are caught up. Okay, attacks my queen, and now I'm playing pawn forward, maybe. But then he also does that. I'd rather play this. Attacking his bishop. He goes back. He goes back and we get to take the pawn because this attack on the queen. Yep. Let's get in the skin of the queen. Okay, now we need to make a comeback. Let's go here so that we can someday maybe play this as well. Okay, what did he take? Let's see. Pawn. Pawn sacrificed because he gets the knight. Okay. You don't need to rush into exchanges. So you can take all the time I want. And try to find a better move. If I don't want to give the knight away, I can get it back. And then reroute it here that attacks the queen as well. If queen tries to mate me up, I can play pawn forward. So that's not a problem. So I'll come back. Now we come with the tempo attacking the queen. And we can even come back here defending the mate later on. So I don't think there was a better move than this that we'll cross check when we are doing the computer analysis at the end okay that's a nice move i would say attacking everything threatening mate and he'll take the knight maybe mm, he will i go here trying to defend the mate but he takes the knight and as soon as he does that i'll take his bishop so equalizer not giving opponent free stuff and if he doesn't take this time you have to get our bishop back and then play knight here maybe i can get the queen also lined up that's another idea and that's better idea that saves everything trying to give a check maybe but not worth doesn't change anything as for the game scenario. I develop the knight with tempo, attacking the queen. Now I have to pick up the pace as well. It's time where you can feel the pressure sometimes. Okay, I'll just line up the rook maybe. Comes in. I'll double up. Play pawn forward someday. This is hanging nice, balanced every for everyone. Okay. Still we are okay because we have got three defenders. Yes. He didn't realize that. Well, now he's just going to. Okay, I'm okay for queen exchange. Is he willing to? Okay. Okay, I'll come down so that there's no last rank weakness for sure. 
takes, takes. You go up. Okay, willing to exchange bishops? I'm not. I go here. Okay, save the pawn. Uh, exchange the rooks. Check. Come back to defend. Hmm, bishop here. Okay, he takes. I'll go up. I'll pin the rook there. Just trying to play fast on time as well. I lost the rook there, which is okay. I get the pawn and then I flag them at the end. So a nice game overall. I liked it. Uh, let me know your feedback as well. Let's analyze the game once, how it went. So playing the London system setup, which is always nice and dynamic. D4, D6, followed by uh, Knight to F4. That's kind of things in the setup that Open is trying to implement. Knight f3, knight g7, bishop comes on d3. These are standard moves in the London. We'll create the pyramid in the center. Nice development moves as you see. Uh, queen and bishop lined up uh, towards the opponent's king. Both the knights are connected. Bishop, uh, dark square bishop, which is generally the, uh, the weaker piece for white, is out of the pawn chain. And he tries to pin the knight. I just tried to kick it away. And he goes back. As I said, it was very passive looking at the game situation. And he goes back, which was bad. Now I try to exchange the knight. Uh, he doesn't. I take on the knight. He has to take with the pawn because if he takes with the bishop, he'll lose the pawn. And that's, again, bad for him. If he tries to safeguard, we can take this pawn as well. And this is just going to lose quickly if he tries to, if he blunders. Because this cannot be saved. So that was the thread there. It can quickly go wrong if the opponent is not careful. Here he was and took with the pawn. I went with queen to b3. The idea was to pin this pawn so that I can take uh, this one on g6. Open saw it and played uh, f5 instead. And I got the bishop back uh, so that I have some uh, better place for my bishop lined up and I can castle. And I do castle on the king side. Uh, on the queen side is also feasible is one option but uh problem with queen side as i said in the game was once i do this his bishop might be coming here eyeing uh, my diagonal uh suddenly he has got two bishops lined up knight is also solid uh, towards my side of the board and he can suddenly push his pawns forward and i can see some lots of weakness in my structure there instead i cast on the king side and he goes back with the knight that was